In this lesson, I will focus on explaining the Revit interface and in particular project browser. Right now I'm in G00-cover view and I can find it in the project browser by scrolling down and looking for the element that it's bolded. So you see I'm in the sheet section, sheets and this view is currently active. If I want to open different views, I simply double click on that. So you see the first sections is actually views. We have here floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views, elevations, sections, detail views, renderings, etc. I encourage you to randomly go through some of the views to understand how they may look like. This would be a vital part of the further architectural documentation. After the views, we have legends section, which also is part of the documenting the project. After that, we have schedules, which are basically tables that uh, we later look a little bit different on the sheet, but allows us to uh, create, for example, material takeoffs or quantity takeoffs from the model. And mentioned sheets. We have here sheets, and if we expand it, we will see what views goes into this particular um, sheet. So, for example, we, here we have floor plan L1 and a schedule planting schedule. If we go up again, we may see that there is this small uh, blue icon, square icon, next to some of the views. And it symbolizes that this view is actually somewhere on the uh, sheet. You see, some of them are white, some of them are blue. If I want to go to the sheet that this view is in, I right click on it and select Open Sheet. This redirects me to this view. Below the sheet section, we have families. Not all families are loaded into the project, every project, that would be impossible and the file would grow tremendously. So instead of loading thousands of families from, that we may find online, we just select the ones that we will actually uh, find useful in, uh, in selected projects, and they are grouped by categories. So we have all the Revit categories listed here. For example, we have columns. If I click plus sign next to it, I will see all the families that are in the columns category. If I click again, I may see types of this family. So remember this naming convention. We have categories, families, and types. This will be very often used in the further uh, lessons. Below groups, we have a section called Revit links. Uh, here we have, for example, electrical, HVAC, plumbing, sites, structural links, uh, which are actually separate files, separate RVT files, which later are uh, compiled into one in the coordination project, which is the architectural file. To understand it even more, let's go to 3D view. You already know that you may find 3D section views in the project browser, but you see that this list is pretty long, so sometimes it might be hard to find the correct one. We have one 3D default view, which is accessed through the quick access toolbar, which is above the ribbon. And we have the symbol of a house that I can click and quickly open the default 3D view. Let's rotate this 3D view I'm using shift plus mouse scroll pressed. So this allows me to orbit the model. We will go into details of uh, navigating the 3D model in further lessons, but for now, just remember this shortcut, shift plus scroll. Okay, so you can see that here are links, which looks like blocks, and they are combined in this file and allows us a uh, proper coordination of elements. Working with Revit requires from us to go through multiple views constantly. I'm switching between many views, which 
might create a messy situation in my uh, project environment. You can see that this list is growing. None of the views are closing automatically by default. And if I click this small arrow, you can see that I have multiple views running in the background. So I can close them by clicking this cross, which is a lot of work, especially if we want to close them all. But we have a special button that quickens this process. Again, in the quick access toolbar, we have this icon with the red cross next to it. And if I click on it, it closes all inactive views. So I'm not closing the project. You see this tab disappears and I have only one open view. And now I can open additional views if I want to. What's worth noticing is that we have also search toolbar here, which allows us to filter the views. I find it very useful. We can filter not only the views, but also other elements that are part of the project browser. So if we use smart prefixes, for example, we can filter views very efficiently. We can also find families in that way. So let me try to select something here. This is a rectangular mullion. I can you see, rectangular mullions are here and I can access some of the properties through project browser as well. This list is pretty long, but we can filter it through the additional tabs that are here in the project browser. So I can click between views, click between legends, shadows, sheets, families, groups and links. And the first tab allows us to see it all. There are some additional settings concerning Project Browser, especially hidden in the context menu. So if I right click on the views on the or on the category, you see there are some additional settings, but I don't want to go through them one by one because it will overwhelm you. One function worth mentioning is that if this list becomes too long, also because the amount of tabs that are expanded, you see, we can collapse them all easily by right clicking on it and say collapse all.